Doing a bit of work on the C220 CDI W203 Mercedes turbo diesel. Uh, this is the 2.2 litre turbo diesel. Um, when I originally got the car, it had this thermostat in it, and it was only sitting really low, like it was must have been fully open. Um, I'd get oh, 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, no matter how hard I ran it. Um, so I originally took it out, and I had a little bit of an investigation, and I believe this is a thermostat from Trident, or one of the other aftermarket suppliers, and somebody has had a problem with the original one and put this in, and it, it didn't really seat properly. Uh, it's a bit hard to see, you won't be able to see in there, but um, yeah, I shortened the pin on it to try and get it to seat better, and uh, it seemed like it worked, probably worked for the first couple of hours, and then it just went back down to really low temperature, as soon as you started driving, yeah, you'd, you'd be on 50 or 60 degrees, um, so I did some research, and these are both uh, Bayer, B E. Uh, was it be HR? It's got a T, T behind it for some reason. Um, anyway, so I couldn't just get the actual insert for the thermostat. You had to get the whole housing. And, um, yeah, you cross-reference across a whole heap of models. And this is a uh, OM611.006. And they're different between the Vitos, which are quite common in Australia. Uh, they don't have this bottom hole in it, and they're a higher temperature. Uh, yeah, so it's higher output mode. I don't know what else they've changed, but um, so yeah, the housings look identical. Um, but this is going to be the correct thermostat. A lot of people say do not buy anything other than Mercedes. Well, I didn't want to pay $200 plus shipping in Australia, so I found the original one. And this is the original supplier, even says here, Mercedes on it. So I'm going to change this bad boy over and see if I can get um, the correct temperature again. So running low temperatures on a diesel will result in lost fuel efficiency, maybe a bit of loss of power, um, because the diesel obviously is ignited through compression and heat, and you really want it hot. So yeah, unlike a petrol car, um, a diesel, you want it, you know, thermostats are always higher, 92 degrees, you probably, yeah, the engine's probably running around 100, um, but it's good, that's where you want it. I was running about 5.5 litres per 100 k's at the best on the highway, I should drop below 5 once I've changed this over, we'll see how it goes. A bit of a tip for putting your bolts back in, get one of these magnetic retractable arms and you can put a bolt on the head of it. And you can actually slide it in and do it up most of the way. It's awesome. Easy as that. Okay, so I took the car for a run, got the new thermostat installed, primed it, filled it all up full of water. It's all running quite well. Um, it did make a big difference to the fuel consumption. So it used to sit on 5.5 litres per 100 k's. I did this for hours and it was the best I got. Um, I did 800 kilometers. So I just did a test on the highway, uh, about half an hour driving, and I'm getting 4.8 at 110 kilometers an hour, or 4.6 to 4.7 at 100 if you want to slow down a bit. Um, the other thing that it will do is it will also heat the diesel up as well, and probably help with filtration, because this little hose here goes to a heat exchange. The heat exchange heats your diesel, here, there's your diesel filter. Um, I'm also going to add a secondary uh, filter, which is going to go down here. Um, the glass bowl type uh, as a water trap. I'll put that in the next video. Okay, so just took it for a bit of a short drive. Um, it's only 20 degrees outside, but you can easily see that it's over 80 degrees. It gets up a bit, probably closer to 90, where it's the thermostat's opening. Um, Increased in fuel efficiency, like I said, but the other thing is a lot less smoke. Uh, before I'd get, you know, black soot off the line, uh, the lights up a hill was quite easy. Put your foot down, and, yeah, lots of uh, black smoke. And now it's pretty much non-existent. As hard as I try, put my foot down as hard as I can, it seems to be gone. This is due to the fact that the hotter the engine runs, the more 
uh, efficient. It burns the diesel, the less diesel left over, less smoke. So yeah, it's a bit quicker, I reckon, a bit more powerful. Um, it, yeah, it's surprising what um, the engine different makes um, with the difference in temperature.